Hi everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to make a to-do list that's quite complicated. So, basically, let's go ahead and I'll show you what this to-do list looks like. So, basically, what it does is, basically, what you can do is you can add the date and the time. It adds the date and the time. It adds a message. So, like, let's say you could press add. And let your to-do is to eat pie and then it posts the date the time and everything like that so yeah let's go ahead and get started so let's open up Xcode and we're gonna I'm gonna show you this code so basically we have our main storyboard, and when I started this project, it was the tab, tab bar, tab bar project. And basically, we have a table view in this one, and the add to do. We'll start with the table view one. So here, yes, we're defining the outlet for the table view, and then we're adding, we're making the array for the name, the notes, and then we're adding an array for the date. And of course, a refresher to, so that we can refresh. And we see here that here we're setting the arrays to an NS user defaults that we had before. And yes, if it's nil, then it's going to set to an empty array. But if it's not nil, it sets it to the to the NS user defaults. And then it does all the attributes for the refresher. And then here we're setting the number of sections that we have. Here's a refresh function. And then here's the number of rows in section, which is to do array dot count. And here we all we also see that it says var cell equal table view. This is actually defining the cell equals DQ reusable cell with identifier cell. And yes, if the cell is nil, we we always have like double protection. Then we're gonna set it just a normal UI table view cell. And then the text label dot text. We're setting the text label and also the detail text label, which is a subtitle. And then we're returning the cell. And this is asking if you want, if you can't edit the rows. We, we're, this is a crucial part because we're editing the rows. We're editing the rows here by deleting them. So let's. I'm gonna go ahead and go and show you the second view controller. Now this one is a lot simpler. So we have our IB outlet for the to do text field. We have an IB outlet for the button. In case there's no text in the to do, then it's not gonna let you go ahead and proceed. And again, we're defining the arrays again, and we're setting a timer to check every thousandth of a second if to do has any text in. It. And then, and then we're doing the same defining as we did back in first view controller right here. This piece. And then, then, and then we have this IB action for our to add to do button, which is also the button back here. We're creating a static to do, and then we're appending it, and then we're appending a date to our our ar date array, and we're also adding we're also setting the text to the of the to do text field to none, and then we're saving the arrays and going back to the normal page and that might be a mouthful so I guess I'll go over a second time so here we're defining our table view here we're defining our to do array which is for our notes and then our to do array date which is for the array of dates and yes back here we're defining the delegate for the table view and the table view data source and then we're also defining the refresher here, which is for the refreshing. And then in view to load, we see that we have, we were defining our arrays to the saved data that we had before. But if there's no saved data, like it's the first time you're opening up the app and the arrays are empty, then it will just set to an empty array. And then it's defining the attributes for the refresher, saying it's 
equal to UI refresh control. It's adding a title, um, adding a target, which is going to be for, which is this one, and and that's adding to it to the table view, and then it's refreshing. And what we're and then we don't have to worry about did receive memory warning because we don't need that. And then here we're setting the number of sections that we have in the table view, so that like little chunks of sections as we have. If you like go to settings, you'll see little sections of table view cells. That's what we're setting right here. We're only setting one section. And then we are we're also setting the number of rows in one section, and that is how many elements we have in to do array dot count. And then. Here we're actually gonna do something different. You know how we had that update array too. So we, if we say if to do array dot count equals to do array date dot count, then we're going to return that. Else, so if they're not equal, then we're just gonna return the other one. And then we're defining again the cell, which we have here. It's equal to a DQ reusable cell from the table view with an identifier of cell. And Again, we're going to have double barriers, so we're going to say if the cell is nil, then we're going to redefine it and make sure it's not nil. And then we're setting the text label with the main text to the to do array index path dot row. And we're setting the subtitle right here to the date. And then here we're, we're asking it, this function will change the permissions for if you can edit the rows or not, which is like delete, add, insert, stuff like that. This is just going to take us to the new page, like new note, new to do page. And then this, this one is letting us delete rows. So as we did back here, let's run it up again. So as we see back here, if we, let's see, if we go back to to-do list, we see that what we can do here is drag to the side and it says delete. And if we press delete, it's gone. And again, you can do this with any of your notes. Okay, so let's go ahead and explain this part. So we're removing it from the array. Yes, to do array date dot remove at index path dot row. I think that's the problem why they were all the same date. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that again. So, so basically what we're doing here is deleting the rows and setting the new array. It's also deleting it from the array, which is a good thing. <laughs> here. So, if we see, launch the app, um, see. Oh yeah, so basically, let's go ahead and it says index at a range because our things. So for now, we're gonna say, let's cut that and we're gonna say to do array or let's say um, ns user defaults dot standard, we're just setting the array dot array set. And it's to do array for key 
to do array. So we're basically setting them to nothing dot standard dot set to do array date or key. We're just doing this temporarily because oh, we're having a problem with when we are deleting those rows. There we go. No problem. Now we got those reset. We can go back and make it back to our old one, which was just that. So actually setting them. Right now there's no, because they are. So. User default dot standard dot here. Nope. Let's just go back and do user default dot standard dot set. You are to do array key to do array. To to do array. You don't have to do it there. Yes, we have to do it here to user default dot standard dot set to do array date for key uh, to do array date and then let's try it again. Let's see. So let's go back to the simulator and get out of that app. Um, let's reboot that simulator. So let's see, let's go back, we're going to delete this app. So what that does is work, that basically just removes all the data from that phone, the simulator I would say. That's just completely downing, downloading a new fresh version of the app onto here. So there we go. Let's press add and we're going to add something like a random thing. And yes, we have the date. That probably, probably a different time zone than mine. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Yes, I'll be posting the source code online in the link below and hope you enjoy it bye